Hi guys, in last video we finished section 3 where we learned how to interact with different web elements. Today we are starting section number 4 – Advanced Selenium Techniques. In this section we will learn how to use explicit weight, how to work with alerts, frames, new windows and pop-ups, how and where to use JavaScript executor and how to capture screenshots with WebDriver. So let's start our first video by learning how to use explicit weights. We already know that there are two types of weights in Selenium – explicit and implicit. And we already learned how to use implicit weight. Explicit weight is much better than implicit because we can set a different weight time for different conditions. Implicit weight is not considered a good practice because different browsers have different loading times and implicit weight will cause different results in different browsers. Let's open our test where we used implicit weight and use explicit weight. The worst way to weight explicitly is to use thread sleep, but let's try it anyway. So let's up this thread sleep and set it to 10 seconds. So our test will stop here and wait for 10 seconds before going to next step. Now let's go to base test and comment out implicit weight. It's really bad idea to use both at the same time. So I will just put two forward slashes in front of this command. So save. Now let's run our test. So select test suite, right click, run test ng suite. Here's the browser, test started. So here's the hello world text. But test is not finished yet. It finished only after a few seconds, after we saw the hello world text. So test passed because it waited for 10 seconds before looking for our elements with expected text. And as I said, this is the worst way to use explicit weight. Because test did not continue execution as soon as the element was available. Instead, it waited for exactly 10 seconds before going to the next command. When we are using implicit weight, test is trying to get the element for the given time. If it finds the element faster, test continues. It's not waiting for exactly this time like thread sleep. But the problem with implicit weight is that it's set one time for the whole test. So if there is an element that requires longer weight, we will have to set implicit weight for a longer time. And WebDriver will wait for all other elements too for a longer period of time. And that will slow down our tests. But there is much better way to use explicit weight other than static thread sleep. We can use WebDriver weight in combination with expected condition. Let's try it in our test. In our test, I replaced thread sleep with next code. So I am creating WebDriver weight variable weight equals new WebDriver weight and I give it 10 seconds. And then I use this weight to wait until expected condition to occur and our expected condition is presence of element located by id finish. So basically we will wait for this element with id finish to be present on the page for 10 seconds before going to next command. If it's there after 2 or 3 seconds, test will not wait another 7 or 8 seconds. It will continue to the next command. So 10 is just maximum amount of time wait will wait. So let's import WebDriver wait from Selenium support 
and let's import expected condition from Selenium support UI. So save our test and let's run it again. Right click, run as, test and G suite. The page should be closed and test passed as soon as we see hello world. Yep, like, like it happened just in front of our eyes. So as soon as test saw the element on the page, element by ID finish, it went to continue to the next command. Let's look at difference between these two weights once again. Implicit wait time is applied to all the elements in the script, while explicit wait time is applied only to those elements which are intended by us. In implicit wait we do not need to specify expected conditions, but in explicit wait we do need to use expected conditions. Let's look at few other expected conditions available to use in combinations with weight. Visibility of element. In addition to presence, this will wait for element to be visible. Text to be present. We can wait for specific element to contain specific text. Frame to be available and switch to it. We can wait for a frame on the page before trying switching to it. Invisibility of elements. Sometimes we need to wait for elements to disappear from the page. We can wait until an element is no longer attached to the DOM using staleness of command. We can wait for alert is present on the page. And there are even more useful expected conditions we can use. If you think about combining implicit and explicit weights, as I said before, it is a bad idea. Doing so can cause unpredictable wait times. I would suggest you to use only explicit weights with expected conditions and avoid using static thread slips. Now let's open our base test and remove implicit weight from here. So let's just select this and remove. Also as we see we have warning here, so this is no longer used, so we can remove this import too. Or we can use our keyboard shortcut. We can push Ctrl Shift O on the keyboard to automatically fix import in our Java class. Ctrl Shift O. We can also format our code using Ctrl Shift F. This will automatically format our code to look better. That's it for now. Now you know how to better wait with Selenium WebDriver.